So this, of course, is what is happening at this moment. The world woke up to a bit of a shocker on the 7th of October. Israel came under attack through land, air and sea. The Hamas fighters had entered into the Israeli territory and their first target was the Supernova Festival near the Gaza border. So let's try and understand as to what happened at the festival site. Since the night turned into dawn, the sound of gunshots and war raid sirens replaced the sound of music in the Negev desert. So soon the Hamas rockets covered the sky and even the Iron Dome, the much touted Iron Dome that Israel boasts about that it can stop all rockets by Hamas, simply turned into a bit of a paper dome instead of being an Iron Dome. The people who had come to attend the musical night and make memories became victims of Hamas. A music festival in southern Israel turned into a bit of a nightmare. People tried to flee, escape, and those who did make it could only do so with a scarred mind. Now, one of the survivors from the festival spoke to Beyond, recalling the moments of horror. I was coming over there with some friends to celebrate my birthday, my 27th birthday. And at around 6.30 a.m. is when the attack started. The Hamas staged an attack. The young people, the music lovers who were taking part in this rave party, very close to the borders with Gaza, were shot at. the gunshots were getting stronger and louder and it felt like, I don't know, I think that it was only 20 meters away from us, something like that, because it was really, really loud at this point. And I felt like the, when they are closing in on us, and like, this is it, they're going to find us and uh, we're going to die. I told, I even told my friend, told her, I love you. Like, I thought that this is it, we're, we're goners. And just three seconds after I told her that, I see uh, my friend. <coughs> Sorry, I see my friends that uh, escaped earlier with their car. They're no looking back. I'm pretty sure that we were getting shot at at this point because I could feel the bullets passing by and I could hear their whistling as they passed by. And we just ran without looking back. We ran into some kind of valley that had a dead end in it, and it was filled with. Uh, big thorn bushes which we got inside uh, one of the big bushes and we stayed there for for about eight hours now, experts say the reason why the music festival became a bit of a target is that foreign nationals probably were involved most of the hostages taken by hamas were from this festival now, the area lies very close to the gaza border gaza which member has been described as an open-air prison, and there was a rave party that was going on nearby. This area is known for being uh, hosting parties because even a day a day before there was a party over there, and I'm going to par to to the to parties in Israel for a long time, and I've known this this place, and I knew where I'm coming. No one. No one thought, even I, I, I even told you, like, even when the missile attack happened, still no one was thinking about something like that. Like, no one. So this is what the scene looked like after the Hamas fighters opened fire here. There were vehicles, there were charred corpses, there were unfinished painting, and there were also scattered belongings. An estimated 250 people were killed at this rave party. They don't do something like that with uh, with a pistol. 
They found in their vans tons of uh, ammunition. Every one of them was uh, shooting with uh, uh, AK-47. They, they were really, really, really well-coordinated, well-organized, and I'm pretty sure that even they themselves weren't prepared for this kind of success. Those who were taken hostage included several Israelis, there were some Americans as well, and people of other nationalities. Now, Hamas says about 13 hostages have died in the Israeli onslaught of air raids and air bombings. This includes Americans, British, Nepalese, Mexicans and Thai nationals. Hamas had earlier warned that it would start executing hostages if Israel continues to target civilians in the Gaza Strip. And reports say hostages are being held in different parts of Gaza. It was a monumental Israelis. Now, the Israelis who take huge pride in their top notch intelligence and surveillance systems, they were caught completely off guard. The much touted Iron Dome of the Israelis turned into a bit of a paper dome. It became almost ineffective against the barrage of the Hamas crude rockets. Let's, let's put it this way the Hamas do not have very sophisticated rockets, these are crude rockets that Hamas used to fire and stage its attack on Israel and the Iron Dome simply had no answer to it. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.